Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my monthly favorites for the month of June. Now, I wasn't going to film a monthly favorites because I don't have a lot of products, but I feel like I have enough. Um, once I started like pulling out the things that I've been using and um, also like the new things that I've been loving that I tried out during that month. I'm going to start off with a foundation. When I first purchased this foundation, I liked the concept of a, you know, concealer and foundation all in one. But for some reason, when I bought this, you know, during... So yeah, I bought this foundation back when it was cold. So it was still winter and my face was very dry and I don't know my my foundation was just not going on the same and it just didn't look good on me but now in the summer I'm really liking it and it is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer so yeah this is the bottle now the only thing that I feel like I would change about this is the applicator is like a large concealer wand and you have to like you know, just apply it and I just I don't know to me that's not too sanitary you know because we have oils and dirt on our face even if we wash our face you know like um, I'll wash my face in the morning and I won't, you know, start applying my makeup until after I eat breakfast and drink my coffee. So, you know, I feel like anything grabs onto our skin. So, yeah, it just makes me feel like we are also contaminating the applicator when we um, touch our face with this. But what I've been doing is I'll just like apply it to um, a flat foundation brush and then I'll apply it that way but it does take a little bit longer however in the summer this foundation is amazing so what i like most about this foundation is that you don't have to go in with a concealer as well so it has enough coverage for the under eye area for spot concealing for everything and honestly in the summer i don't want to apply a million you know products to my face I don't want to color correct I don't want to apply another concealer you know uh, on the under eye area or a spot concealer you know I just want to save myself some time so this one has been working amazing it is you know very full coverage so it's perfect if you don't like to do too many steps when it comes to your makeup application and especially for this time of the year when it's hot and you know it's summer after I apply this is basically I'll just like set my whole face and um, you know I use a, a good primer that is going to work to control the oily t-zone and that's it and yeah i've been really loving this foundation right now now this month i started using this eye makeup remover and it is the bifacial by lancome now i had never used this but i received this as a point perk i believe from sephora and I was trying to remove like a really heavy makeup look um, from my eyes, waterproof um, eyeliner and all that stuff and it was not coming off with anything else so I decided you know just grab this and use it and I really really like it. This is such a good eye makeup remover, I don't know why I didn't use this before but I like it so much that I'm really tempted to buy the full size bottle when this one runs out because um, it does not irritate my eyes. That is one of my biggest concerns when I buy eye makeup removers like this. Um, I just felt like, like 
I used to use the Neutrogena one, and then it just started, like, really irritating my eyes. So I stopped using that one, um, and then I just kind of stuck to, like, facial wipes. But, but yeah, right now, I really like this. Um, it doesn't irritate my eyes, like I said. Um, I'll just take a cotton around and basically press it onto my eyes for, like, 30 seconds, honestly, and it just, like, breaks up all the makeup. It's really amazing. I really like this makeup remover by Lancome. Now, in the summer, I do prefer, um, like, misting sprays uh, for the body. You know, something that just smells good, but it's not, like, a like a perfume, you know? So, I purchased this Soap and Glory Body Spray. And this is the original pink body spray by Soap and Glory. Wow, this smells so good. When I first purchased this, I was like, wow, this smells really good, you know? But then, like, I started getting compliments from everyone. Like, people would be like, oh, what are you wearing? What's that perfume? I don't think it smells like the Chanel perfume, but it smells really good, you know? And yeah, I I love this body spray. It smells really good. And what I like most about it is it actually stays. Like the the scent stays with you. It's not like um, in many sprays that I bought where you have to like constantly be spraying yourself you know to smell good and it's the soap and glory um original pink uh they i believe they have like two or three other ones um different sets but that is my favorite one so in the month of june i received a few sheet masks in my boxy charm now this brand biobell I I have never used this brand before, Biobel. I love sheet masks. I like the Tony Moly ones. I like the uh, what are they called? The Sephora brand ones. I always buy those whenever I go to Sephora. I'll you know I buy at least two of them because I like sheet masks and I try these out from Boxy Charm. And I love them. I ordered more. I like them so much that I had to like place an order because I just want to start using sheet masks a lot more often, like at least three times a week, you know. And yeah, I ordered um, the one that has like a, a mirror in the center and I ordered some of these ones too and other you know, face masks by other brands. I was thinking of doing like a, a, so yeah, I was thinking of doing like a sheet mask haul. Uh, so yeah, since I ordered so many, I was thinking of doing like a sheet mask haul. Um, just, just so you guys can see like which ones I'm liking and stuff like that. So if you would be interested in that, they're all basically, um, so if you're interested in that, leave me a comment down below. All of the sheet masks that I ordered are um, K-Beauty brands, um, just so you know. So yeah, uh, if you guys are interested, let me know down below because I really, really like sheet masks. So yeah, this one is the pomegranate and hyaluronic acid one. And I use another one that's a hydrating one and I honestly like them more than the Sephora brand ones I feel like they did more for my skin you know and yeah so um, I've been loving you know that brand of sheet masks Biobel now for some reason I have been now for some reason I have been obsessed with glitter like this summer I don't know maybe because it's like a huge um, trend right now, you know, like, glitter eyeshadows, glitter liners, all that. Um, so I've been 
you know, when I'm not wearing something as dramatic as this, I've been wearing this glitter. So this is a Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. And this is in Kitten Karma. So it's more of like that champagne color. And uh, I always like, so I like to wear this when I do more neutral looks or like warm looks and if I do like a halo eye kind of like what I have today I'll apply this in the center and it just looks really pretty I even did a tutorial using this because I really like this and yeah these are like one of the most amazing glitter eyeshadows that I have ever tried and yeah I I can't wait to get all the new colors because I just really, really like those. Now, this next product is a brush. Now, this next product is an eyeshadow brush. And I ordered a bunch of Morphe brushes. But, to be quite honest, I liked probably half of the ones that I ordered. And the one that I liked the most is one that I threw in my cart like very last minute just to get free shipping which is crazy and uh yeah this is the M506 brush by Morphe now I like this brush because it's very small and dense so I like it to do more defined crease work so yeah this is a really good um, eye shadow brush for that. Uh, if you want to do like a cut crease, you know, this is going to cut back the the time a lot more uh, because this has, this has like such a precise application. I've seriously been using it a lot and I really like it. Um, so yeah, this is again the M. 506 by Morphe. Then last but not least, the eyeshadow palette that I have been using since the day that I received it is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And it looks like this. Now, I've been using it in tutorials, but I have also been using it just in my daily life. Like, I'll just take, like, the light blending shades and apply them to my crease. And, you know, it's just like, I've, I've really been playing with this um, eyeshadow palette. I'm trying to actually, like, use every single shade in this palette on my eyes just to see, like, how each eyeshadow performs. So today, I filmed a look using um, this palette again. So, yeah, that's what I have on my eyes right now. But yeah, this is a really good eyeshadow palette. I like the matte shades a lot. They're very blendable and very soft and um, silky, I would say. They are, like, powdery, but, I mean, it doesn't really bother me that they're powdery as long as, you know, they perform well. So, yeah, I really have been liking this eyeshadow palette. The bright colors in here are so pretty. I just, like, needed to do a colorful look with this. So, yeah, again, my favorite uh, eyeshadows this month have been from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. So, yeah, that is it for my monthly favorites. Like I said, I didn't really have a lot of products. I haven't been makeup shopping, to be honest. Um, I've ordered a few things here and there, but um, I still have not received them. So, hopefully I'll have some new exciting stuff for next month to share with you guys. So, yeah, let me know down below what your favorite products is months were so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye